Hare Krishna. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gauravakta Vrinda. Everybody say. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gauravakta Vrinda. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gauravakta Vrinda. Okay, we welcome you again and again. To our well, Katha, Gaur Bhagavan Katha of Karunavatar. Karunavatar. It is Gauranga and uh, is Gaura Bhagavan also or is Bhagavan? So it's Gaura Bhagavan. And he is full of karunya, magnanimity. So hence is Karunavatar. He is Karuna Sindhu and Dina Bandhu. <clears throat> so we had been talking day after day about Karuna Madhar, so that you remain well or for everybody's well-being. We had been reciting this Karuna Madhar, Gaur Bhagwan Katha and I hope and pray that you are well and safe. The heads of states globally are doing their best. WHO, who is busy like anything. And then what to speak of all the doctors and the medical staff is, is on marathon world wide so they are taking care of you hari hari and we also we hari krishna devotees the members of the international society for krishna Consciousness, consciousness also would like to take care of you I was going to say earlier, take care of yourself. So, uh, so that's what we do. Take care of yourself. Body is also self and mind is also self. But the real self is the soul. which no one else seemed to be taking care of or so much concern. They do not even know the existence of the soul. So, uh, so whatever is lacking, we are trying to provide. Huh? Yoga Kshema Vaham Yaham, as Krishna said. Whatever you lack, we provide. So others are taking care, the governments and the doctors and World Health Organization. There's still something lacking. And uh, that 
lack is care of the soul, looking after the soul, or even could say curing the soul. Are purifying the consciousness of the soul. Hmm. What is the symptom of the soul? Consciousness. So, so that is what we work on. We, the Hare Krishna devotees, we try to bring about a revolution in consciousness. And when consciousness changes, everything around you changes. Your world view changes and your yeah, your lifestyle changes. And your diet could change. And lifestyle yeah, I like that. A lot of things around you your association changes. You are known by the company that you keep, oh, it is said. So you may make changes in the company, meaning the associates that you mix and mingle with that could change. Uh, I like that. So uh, Adiyari. So, uh, anyway, getting back to our Karuna Avatar, Gaur, Bha Gaur Bhagavan Katha. So, we want to continue. Again, it is not just Gaur Bhagavan, it's also Nityananda Bhagavan. Is not only Krishna, but Balaram also. Nurjas, Ram, Lakshman also. We have been talking how Ram and Lakshman of Trita Yuga, they appear as Krishna Balaram of Dwapar Yuga, and they appear as Gaur Nityananda in the age of Kali. So we had been talking about uh, Gauranga, not a lot, but maybe more. We had talked about Gauranga, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, but not much about Nityanand Prabhu. I meant to talk about uh, Nityanand or Nityanand's childhood pastimes on the day of uh, Ram Nami, but that did not happen. So I wanted to briefly talk about Balaram appearing as Nityanand and his some childhood pastimes. And then, of course, talk of Gauranga more and Gauranga and Nityanand together and uh, their pastimes of spreading the holy name in India and then worldwide. So, uh, Nanda Nanda Najai Sachi Sutta Hoila Sai. The Shastras or Acharyas say and sing that uh, one who was Nanda Nandan, hmm, you understand Nanda Nandan, son of Nanda Maharaj, he appeared as Sachi Nandan. He appeared as yeah, Sachi Nandan, the darling of Sachi Mata and darling or son of. Jagannath Mishra. So that is, uh, so Krishna appeared as Krishna Chaitanya. 
and Balaram Hoi Lanitai, and Balaram appeared as Nityanand Prabhu. So Sri Krishna Chaitanya Gauranga appears in Navadvip, Mayapur. And Balaram, who is now appearing as Nityanand, he appears in a place called Ekachakragram. Both of these places are in Bengal. Nadia, uh, uh, Navadvip is in Bengal, and Ekachakragram is also in Bengal, some distance apart. So, uh, Nityanand Prabhu appeared as Sana Padmavati and Hardai Pandit. And uh, Nityanand Prabhu was a, what to speak, uh, the beautiful, the beauty of Nityanand Prabhu was quite captivating. It was a reservoir of beauty. A mm -hmm. konkatara, as they say. Uh, and everyone uh, was kind of getting enchanted by the beauty of Nityanand Prabhu. So he was very, very dear to his parents. And also he was dear of all the elderly ladies and gentlemen of Eka Chakra Gram. It was a very special boy. Not just to, uh, special to look at, but in every possible way. So, as he was growing, and now he was going to school. And uh, he has lots of friends to play with. So one of the, well, they used to play. Mm -hmm. Not croquet or other games. But they used to perform plays, dramas. Nityanand Prabhu would take lead and he would gather his friends, school friends. And practically every day there is to be performance. Of course the story writer would be Nityanand Prabhu. And what stories would he write or think of? the stories, the pastimes of Krishna and Balaram in Vrindavan. So every day some cow herding pastimes or makhanchor, butter stealing pastimes, or rasa dance, oh, Krishna Balaram also plays, performs rasa dance, of lifting over the hill and both are taking part. Krishna is is taking part. Of course, a lifter of Govardhan. Balram is also there, and both are dealing. So, like that, they would enjoy performing different dramas. Then one day, Nityanand Prabhu. Well, came up with the story of Ram from Ramayan. The scene was Ayodhya Khand, the pastimes of Ram Lakshman. It's a, it's a, okay, it's a, it's a battle, battle in the, in uh, Lanka. Yuddhakarn, did I what did I say? Yuddhakarn. So, uh, a <clears throat> big army has arrived, Hanuman, and 
company and there's a battle with uh, Ravan and Kumbhakarna. So one day during that battle, now uh, Nityanand Prabhu is playing a role of Lakshman, which is natural for him. He was Lakshman in the previous incarnation. Mm -hmm. So, so he, he has become Lakshman. So during the battle, I think it was Meganath, he shot an arrow, making Lakshman the target and uh, the arrow hits the target. And Lakshman was wounded. And he collapses and is unconscious. Mm -hmm. Drama is on. Mm -hmm. All the friends of Nityanand Prabhu are playing different roles. So when uh, Lakshman is mm, unconscious in the, in the lap of Sri Ram. They're wondering, oh, cure, medicine wanted. And they couldn't find uh, the right medicine, prescribed medicine in, in Lanka. So it was uh, recommended that someone goes to Himalayan mountain and on the top of one of the hills of Himalayan mountain there are some special herbs. If someone could bring that, that would be the perfect medicine or cure. So uh, who, who would go? And of course this is a task of Hanuman. So the child, the friend of Nityanand Prabhu, who was given role of Hanuman, he flew and journeyed towards Himalayan mountain to fetch the herb. So while Hanuman was on the way to Himalayan mountain. Oh, it was uh, time for closing the school. The bell rings. And all the friends of Nityanand Prabhu, including Hanuman, yeah, so the school closed now. Uh, they happily, they all ran to their respective homes, except Nityanand Prabhu, who kept lying there, motionless. So, uh, Hadai Pandit and Padmavati. They were waiting and waiting and waiting for Nityanand Prabhu to return. Oh, why is he not coming? What happened? So they decided to go to the school and find whereabouts or what, what, happened, what happened to their dear son, Nityanand. And they found Nityanand Prabhu lying there. He was the only one around and lying unconscious. They were terrified, panicked to see their dear son, Nityanand, in that state. So what this is due to what, what caused this 
Nityanand Prabhu being unconscious and they were trying to shake him, wake him up, but nothing was working out. So then, as they were making inquiries, they found out that, as usual, that day also, Nityanand Prabhu was playing a drama, performance of drama had happened. And uh, their son was playing a role of Lakshman. And uh, Hanuman was sent to get the herb. But Hanuman never returned. In fact, Hanuman had gone to, instead of going to Himalayan mountain, he had gone back to his home. So, so a lot of personalities had gathered by that time. So, so they, they thought the only way is that this Lakshman is going to be coming back to the external consciousness if Hanuman would return with the herb. So all the boys were, those who were playing different roles were brought back on the scene. And Hanuman also was resent and asked him to return quickly. So, so Hanuman returns uh, with the whole mountain held on his palm and is flying. And he, he lands there in Ekachakragram, right in the courtyard of, of the school, or playground of the school. And uh, then the herb was selected and offered to Lakshman. And that's it. Lakshman, and now this was Nityanand Prabhu, he jumped and uh, everyone was happy and jolly, very, very. So, amongst many, many uh, pastimes that Nityanand Prabhu would play, perform, with his friends, proving that he was none other than Lakshman of Treta Yuga and Balaram of Dwapar Yuga. <clears throat> so, like that, Balaram was growing in age. So, uh, one year, when mendicant comes to Ekachakragam and he becomes the guest of uh, Harai Pandit and uh, Harai Pandit takes good care of the, the mendicant Sadhu Mahatma. So when it was the time for him to leave, he uh, ask for help, assistance. Uh, what could I offer? He said, give me your son. Oh, it was a tough decision. This was something similar. I mean, that Vishwamitra also had come to Ayodhya and her had asked Dashrath to please give me your son, not just one son, give me both the sons, Ram and Lakshman. I want them to battle with 
the demons spoiling our jagya so uh, dashrath had a hard time <sighs> to make that offering of offer his sons ram and lakshman to vishwamitra so likewise for uh, harai pandit it was very very tough but if he okay okay have him and like this now nityanand prabhu was traveling with this mendicant but he brought a kachari and they traveled all over india do you not remember that balram also had traveled all over india well krishna was part of the kurukshetra battle well he was not battling himself but he was certainly part chariot driver of arjun and while that was happening balram went on tour of whole india so the same balram has appeared as nityanand prabhu is now traveling all over india also <clears throat> yeah following in the first steps of balram in fact touching or visiting many of the past times many of the places that balram had visited previously so traveling and traveling all over nityanand prabhu arrives in vrindavan now he was at radha kun in in vrindavan there he gets the news what's the news breaking the news <laughs> that uh, the supreme personality of godhead is also himself supreme personality of godhead hmm? nityanand prabhu balram or swayam bhagwan shri krishna has appeared as shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu in navadvi mayapur as soon as he heard the news he stopped his travels going all around and he ran to navadvip and and uh, shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu in the dream saw the arrival of balram or balram arriving entering navadvip he was seated on the chariot huh? he was holding club uh, and plow this haladhar and he saw uh, nityanand prabhu had appeared but he had appeared as as balram that was uh, in the dream Shri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had seen. And then, yeah, there's a lot of description of uh, what he had seen in the dream. And then, chariot had moved on. And it was stationed somewhere. in navadvip mayapur so when shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu he he wakes up and him he, he remembers the dream how he makes the connection oh one that i saw 
in the dream, that personality, that is Balarama Hoila Nithai. That is Nityanand Prabhu. So, uh, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu sent many of his associates. Go find Nityanand Prabhu. Find out whereabouts of him. I want to go see him. So they all went looking for Nityanand Prabhu. But uh, Nityanand Prabhu wanted that he could be found only by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and by no one else. So he was he was hiding. And if Nityanand Prabhu, Balaram, Supreme Lord, wants to hide, who could find him? So no one could find. So they all returned saying, oh, we went everywhere searching, looking for Nityanand Prabhu. He is nowhere to be found. Then Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, okay, I will, I will have to do this task of finding Nityanand Prabhu. Let's go. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took lead and others were following. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu walked straight uh, to uh, Nandanacharya Bhavan where Nanda Nachari resided, his house. And uh, the, the doors opened and uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu enters with his many associates. And this is first time ever in this Leela, Gornithyanan, Gauranga, Nityananda, Gauranga, Nityananda. Uh, Ari Ari. <coughs> yes, it says. What is that? Uh, in Vrindavan, as we go on Parikrama, especially come to the place called Dawasi, near Gokul. So in that whole region, there's a special chant or greetings. One party says, Dauji ka bhaiya. Other one, other party says, Krishna ka nahiya. Dauji ka bhaiya, Krishna ka nahiya. Krishna ka nahiya, Dauji ka bhaiya. Who is Dauji ka bhaiya? Oh, he's Krishna ka nahiya. Oh, who is Krishna ka nahiya? He's Dauji ka bhaiya. Like that. One party is asking, uh, who is Dauji ka bhaiya? Other party says, is Krishna ka nahiya? Who is Krishna ka nahiya? Is Dauji ka bhaiya? Like that. It's Krishna and Balaram. So this happens in, in, in Vrindavan. But then as we go to Navadvip, then there's a different kind of chant. One party says, Go Ranga. Other one says, Nitya Nanda. Go Ranga. Nitya Nanda. Go Ranga. Nitya Nanda. Or they say, Go Nitya Nanda. Go Ranga. Nitya Nanda. Go Ranga. So this Go Nitya Nanda have come face to face for first time. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is about some 20 years by earthly calculation, right? I mean, is eternal. Hmm? Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is eternal, is, is unborn, ajanma, he never takes birth, and he never dies, hmm? like the sun, the sun takes birth in the morning, no. Sun existed before appearing on the horizon, eastern horizon. And does sun come to an end when sun sets? No. It just disappears from our vision. So likewise, both 
Gauranga and Nityanand are, are eternal. There was no time when they did not exist and they existed or they were performing their pastimes 500 years ago and they will continue to exist forever. So I said 20 years by our earthly calculation. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was 20 years and Nityanand Prabhu some 32 years and that's when they are meeting here at Nandanacharya Bhavan and that was amazing get together or the million the union between these two great eternal brothers two lords one Swayam Bhagavan, one Swayam Prakash. It was amazing the way they met and saw each other and they proceeded towards each other and, and then deep embrace and this shedding of tears profusely and those tears were doing Abhishek, huh? bathing. Gauranga's tears were bathing, Nityanand, Nityanand's tears were bathing Gauranga and then they were trembling in ecstasy as they met and they had lost the external consciousness and they collapse on the ground and they are rolling on the ground in great ecstasy and oh, what a scene out of this world and we have to say it, out of this world this is never experienced <clears throat> in this world so uh, So from that time onwards now, they are uh, just one, one second. Just keeping a track of the time. We have 20 minutes to go. <clears throat> Sankirtana in Kapitaro Kamalaya Taksho Vishwam Bharo Dujavaro Yugadharma Palo Vande Jagat Priyakaro Karuna Vataro This is how both of them have been glorified in scripture called Chaitanya Bhagavat Ajanu Lambita Bhujo with their long arms held high up in the sky huh? with their mm, Kamala Yataksho or blooming elongated eyes and the golden complexion and the best of the Brahmanas both of them were And Jagat Priyakaro, they are the welfare doers. <laughs> they are doing the best of the welfare of or for the entire humanity. Yugadharma Palu and the protectors are those who establish establishers of the Yuga Dharma, Dharma of this age of Kali. And that is chanting of the holy names of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Mm. Lord appears. <clears throat> now what does he do? 
one of those, one of the main things that Lord does <coughs> as He comes into this world is Dharma Samsthapanarthaya, establish the principles of religion. And uh, what is the religion for this age of Kali? Well, this stuff. <clears throat> Chanting the holy names of the Lord. So, uh, just prior to this meeting of Gaur Nityanand, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu had uh, gone to Gaya and had met great stalwart Acharya devotee called Ishwar Puri and Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu he received Diksha from Ishwar Puri that meant he received mantra and received uh, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra also. And Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu started chanting of Hare Krishna. And soon he attained uh, Mantra Siddhi, perfection of chanting. What was the perfection? What is the perfection of chanting holy names? Chaito darpana marjanam, cleansing of the consciousness. And ultimately, revival of love for the Lord. Krishna Prem aroused in personality of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So much so that the, uh, by seeing the behavior, the way he was acting, Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Everyone was thinking, has he gone mad? And he had gone mad, was mad after Krishna. And <laughs> Mahaprabhu also realized was also realizing, yes, yes, this is certainly madness. I wasn't like this before. I was Nimai Pandit. I was known for my gravity and learning and but see now I, I had no control over myself. I'm kind of possessed by this, this holy name or possessed by Krishna and uh, he makes me dance and I have gone mad. So, so he, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, goes back to his spiritual master, Ishwar Puri, and he is asking him this question. Kiba mantra dila gosai, kiba tara bal, japite japite mantra karila pagal. What kind of mantra have you given to me from the time that I, I started chanting this Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, I have gone mad. Pagal. I become Pagla Baba. So that transformation, that kind of transformation took place in personality of, of Gauranga. And now in association of Gauranga, Nityanand Prabhu also developed similar sentiments and qualities and lifestyle and now they both had gone mad and uh, they both were chanting and dancing all the time 
and so on. The kirtan performances were getting organized at Srivas Thakur's place. This is not far from uh, Yoga Pete, the birthplace of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, or where yeah, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stayed, just maybe a few hundred meters away, is uh, Srivas Thakur's angan or residence courtyard. And who is Srivas Thakur? He is Narad Muni. Narad Muni has appeared as Srivas Thakur. And what is Narad Muni known for? Narada Muni Bajaya Vina Radhika Ramana Namne He's always chanting. He has Vina, his place Vina and chants Radhika Raman or Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, or Naraya, Naraya, Naraya. He's absorbed in in chanting the holy names of the Lord and he's a Narada. He gives Narayan to others. Hence he's Narada, the giver of Narayan, giver of Krishna. So at his residence, Gauranga and Nityanand Prabhu, they did inauguration of this Sankirtan. And with many other associates, uh, Advaita Charya joined. He is a Mahavishnu. And Gad uh, Gadadhar joined. He is partial expansion of Radharani. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, so they are, they are five of them are called. Panchatattva, and many other associates they had. And they would chant and dance all night long. And uh, only pure devotees were allowed the entrance. And there was a whole screening process. You are, if you are Bhukti Kami or Mukti Kami or Siddhi Kami, out. Really, anyone with any mundane aspirations and desires and or the impersonalists or demigod worshippers aspiring for different siddhis, anima, laghima, etc., asta siddhis, they were all kept out, only pure devotees in. And Gaur Nityanand and the Panchatattva members, they would all dance all night long. And this was going on and on. I think it went on for one year. So uh, Advaita Acharya was happy and was not happy with this performance of indoor Kirtans. Because he was the one responsible for the, for the advent of Gaur Nityanan or Gauranga. He had a, made a special plea, prayer, and worship, begging for advent of the Lord. So the Lord had kindly appeared and uh, but he is, uh, Lord is not accessible to the, the fallen souls, degraded public. Lord is yeah, only associating with pure devotees. Advaita Charya had prayed for Lord's advent so that the general masses would, would, have, would have a darshan or association and benefit of his advent. So that was not happening. So one day, 
Advaita Charya approaches Ketane Mahaprabhu and uh, begs at his lotus feet, My dear Lord, please make your, yourself available to the masses. They are suffering. There's so much dharma shaglani huh? decline in religious principles and so much of ir irreligion is being spread and practiced, irreligion being practiced all around. Oh, they're suffering, my dear Lord. Mm, coronavirus is also, or this sickness, their sickness. Huh? Or Janma, Mrityu, Jara, Vyadhi, suffering from birth, death, old age, disease. Oh Lord, do something for them. Please come out. So Gauranga Mahaprabhu heard the prayers of Advaita Charya and from that time onwards Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then started Kirtan all over Navadvip <clears throat> there are nine islands Navadvip so he would gather large number of devotees Udilo Aruna Purava Bhage Dvijamani Gora Amani Jage. So as sun was rising in the east, Gauranga Mahaprabhu would gather his associates. And they would Tatai Tatai Bhaje Lakol Ghana Ghana Tahe Jhanje De Ro. The drums are being played and the kathas are played also. Preme dhala dhala sonara anga charane nupura baje and Gauranga Mahaprabhu is in the forefront of the grand Sankirtan procession and what is he doing? He is dancing and swaying like this. He has a ankle bells around his ankle. Premed halad hala sonarang, golden complexion, Lord. So he would, and his party, his, some are doing kirtan and others are also preaching to the public. People are running, coming out of their homes as they hear the sound vibration of loud kirtan, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, and then some of the associates of Gauranga Mahaprabhu, they are addressing those householders talking, interacting with them. Namashraya kari jatane tumi takaho apana kaje. And they are saying, you also chant, please chant. Take shelter of the holy name. And while chanting, hat me kaam, mukh me naam. You can stay busy with your different activities. Chant the holy name of the Lord. Nam bina kichu nahi ko ara chauda bhuva namade. Nothing, there is nothing better to be had than this holy name of the Lord. Please chant, please chant. So that went on. Chanting and dancing in Navadvi for many years. And then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I think about four, four years, 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was 24 years and then he takes sannyas. Why? Because he wants that this holy name spread everywhere. Not remain just Navadvip limited. He wanted it to spread far and wide. So personally, so he's taking sannyas, the renouncing of household activities, and uh, is free to preach, propagate Krishna consciousness, propagate the holy name everywhere. And next six years, he travels length and breadth of Bharat Varsha, India, uh, propagating the holy name. Harer nama iva kevalam kalo naste iva naste iva naste. There is no other way. There is no other way. Only way is to chant the holy name of the Lord. The Lord personally is Karunamathar. Kind Lord is spreading the holy name himself. And then while he is spreading the holy name, he also makes prediction that Prithavite Achyajata Nagaradi Gram Sarvatra Prachar Hoive Moranam. My name will be chanted in every town, every village of this planet. He did not want only people of Navadvip are benefited or people of India only are benefited. No, why would Lord think like this? Hmm? All those folks, people all over, they are his people, they are his parts and parcels, they are his devotees, they're all living entities belonging to him. And uh, so he, He's, he makes this prediction, holy name will reach every town, every village, every village. Because this is the gift <clears throat> that he had come with as Lord was descending from the spiritual sky, from Golok, from Vaikunt. He is carrying this gift. Golok era premadhan, Hari Nam Sankirtan. Sankirtan, Hare Krishna Kirtan, is Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is the gift that he is, uh, he is carrying as he descends. And this gift is for everybody all over the world. So he makes this prediction that this chanting will happen everywhere. And that is what we see. So later on in the disciplic succession of spiritual masters and disciples, the followers of Gauranga, Gaudiya Vaishnavas, Srila Bhakti Sudhan Saraswati Thakur, the founder of Gaudiya Mat, instructed His Divine Grace A.C. Bhakti Vedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada to take up this mission of Gauranga. Go to the West, go everywhere, and Spread Krishna consciousness, Bhagavad Dharma, spread the holy name of the Lord. So that is what His Divine Grace, Srila Prabhupada did. He followed the instruction of his spiritual master. He goes to New York in 1996. He does the foundation of the ISKCON, International Society for Krishna Consciousness. And then he, he travels 14 times around the world uh, during his old age, while he's in his 70s and early 80s, he's traveling. And wherever he goes, he's spreading Krishna consciousness, especially handing out this gift of Gauranga, the Karunavatar Gauranga, giving gift to, to the whole world. and. Uh, so this gift has been also received in 
I think as many countries the coronavirus has reached or this curse of coronavirus has reached most of those countries the holy name also has reached so we appeal to our fellow brothers and sisters globally to accept these holy names names of the lord and chant these holy names chant hari krishna and be happy try it out millions have already tried and it is their personal experience that they are becoming happy free from anxiety and joyful so we are sharing our experience with you all so uh, please take to the chanting of the holy names of the lord all right krishna